This is my favorite time to run, when everything is quiet and the light is just perfect. Okay, time to recover. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to make consistent characters in Google VO3 and I've made it as simple as possible. Go to Gemini and you're going to go on the left here to explore gems. From here, you're going to click create new gem and now we can give our gem a title. I have a link in the description below for you for everything you need, but we're going to come here and I made this prompt for you so you don't have to do anything else. So we can click the copy button here and we can come back and we can put in the prompt over here. And if we go back up to the top after my prompt was super long, we can give it a title. So this is our VO3 consistent character and scene generator. So this is going to create consistent characters for us and scenes with our consistent character. So that's pretty much all you need to do to get started. We're going to hit save up here. It is saving our gem and now we can start using it. And before I show you how to use it, I want to remind you to click the subscribe button. I cover AI every single day so you can stay up to date with everything that is happening in the AI world. So just go click the subscribe button and let's continue. Now we can click start chat or in the future, if we wanna come back to this, I can hit explore gems. And if we scroll down, you're gonna see your different gems. If you haven't seen the Yeti vlog generator, I did one on that as well. It makes generating the Yeti vlog videos extremely easy, but we are doing the consistent characters. So you can see here, we have opened up a chat with our consistent character generator. Our consistent character generator has two options. So option one is you upload an image, it's going to try to extract all the details of the person or option two is you say, hey, can you generate a person for me? And it's going to go back and forth with you and it's gonna ask you some questions to try to get a good understanding of the person you want and then eventually the scenes. So I have this picture here of a lady that I generated in Gemini using a prompt. So I'm gonna see if we can put her into our scenes. So we're gonna just start with this. We just simply uploaded just an image, nothing else. We just have an image and we hit submit. And you can actually see the thinking if you want and it's analyzing the user's image. And it's just basically going through the big massive prompt that I have given you. And that is all on here. And while you're on the website, if you would like and you scroll all the way down at the bottom right there is a place you can put in your email i send one email per week and you stay up to date with ai now if we come back here and see everything that it has done we can see the character's facial features and we can go down we can see the hair the skin the build and posture and clothing. It even tells us to review the detailed description above and see if there's any details we wanna add, remove, or change to ensure that it is completely perfect the way we want it. And once we are done with our description, we have some choices. Something I really want to make sure that this did well was voices. We wanted a consistent voice as well. So we have options. We have voice A, B, C, or custom. Just for the sake of time, we are going to go with voice A. All right, we are on to our next step here. So excellent choice. We We've now established a complete and detailed profile of our consistent character. So it has our character all ready to go. The profile has been done. We can see it all here. And we are now onto the cinematic scene generation. What do we want our character to be doing? It even gives us a suggestion scene and a dialogue, as well as camera suggestions and lighting. Now I have a prompt that says, can you come up with two scenes? I want her to be going for a jog outside and then she comes inside and is tired and all sweaty from the jog. And can you adjust the lighting and camera and dialogue to make it make sense? And we can hit submit. And I know this seems like a tedious and long process, but honestly, we're just fine tuning our scene to exactly what we want. So the prompt I have given you will basically ask you questions until it is confident that it's going to give you the scene that you want with all the fine tuned adjustments. So here we go, based off our request, we have two distinct cinematic scenes that flow from one to the next, and it's going to have a consistent character. So we have scene one or prompt one, and this is called the golden hour jog. And we could read it, but that's a lot of work. We're just going to go like this. We're going to go copy. We're going to come back into Gemini. We're going to hit video and we're going to put in our prompt and we're going to hit submit. Our video is done generating here. We can come back to Gemini. I already have it selected. We can copy the second scene prompt that it has given us. We can come back to Gemini and we can hit submit. We're going to generate our second video with our same consistent character.
While the second one is generating, let's have a quick conversation about how well she matches. So here is the image we started with, and here is what it generated. We have the hair, which looks very similar. It has like the brown, which goes into the blonde. The eyes is hard to see from this angle, but you can see the structure of the face is pretty similar. The skin tone, it looks pretty good and it matched the image pretty well. All right, are you ready? We're gonna scroll down, the second video is made, and check this out. First person, second person. They look like the same person. So we have achieved our goal of consistent character. Now I download, piece them together in my video editing software, and you get this. This is my favorite time to run, when everything is quiet and the light is just perfect. <sighs> I know you saw this example at the start of this video and I have another one for you that has three scenes in it so you can kind of see the character follow through in three different scenes but before I do that I really want to point out how good this generation was. First of all look at her eyes in this photo this is the one we started with here and if we come back to Gemini we can actually see her eyes her eyes actually match and then the other thing I want to point out is her clothing so if we go ahead her clothing is this here and up above it is the same exact clothing it just looks a little bit sweaty because she went for a run so it looks phenomenal let me show you the other clip generation and this time around we have ai dana running from an alligator it is an amazing day later gator So admittedly, this one didn't look like the original AI Dana that I uploaded, but the end result was still pretty good. We have one consistent character walking through a river, she meets a crocodile, and then all of a sudden she is running away. So we had a an extended scene, an extended clip generated with VO3 that looks good. Let me know in the comments below, did this video help you out make consistent characters? Does it work for you? As you can see, I've had some pretty good success. And if you enjoy AI content, don't forget to click the subscribe button, check back tomorrow for more AI content, check some of my older videos. I have all sorts of really cool, fun stuff about all AI. And don't forget to like the video, it tells algorithm you enjoy this type of content and you wanna see more of it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you tomorrow with another AI video. AI tools, AI news, AI prompts you can use. It's all for free, just come and see at franklinair.com where you're meant to be.